So just a quick one for you, everybody. In the stock section here, as you can see, I'll just show you. So these are the stock boards on the floor, obviously here, just giving a bit more grub. Clean here roughly, you know, every day or two, probably two days. Get in, give it a good clean on the floor. Keep the boxes tidy. Not so much with the, when there's youngsters there, especially young, I don't like leaving them. But I'm at a point now, if you just see here, droppings are well, young boards are in good nick. Uh, I'll start cleaning those boxes regular, just when they're babies, I don't. I tend not to. Um, I just thought I'd show you a couple of the babies, to be quite honest. So these boards, I'm not really breeding for myself at the moment. These are out of the Dandeloft pigeons. Um, these are actually sold, these youngsters. They're going uh, out to a couple of lads. Uh, this is the one, they're two weeks old. We're ready to go in two weeks' time. Um, very, very happy with how the youngsters are bred, they are coming on. Here's another pair. Nice little bit of white in this one, a bit of pied. Uh, nice youngsters, I have to say, really, really are nice youngsters. Now, I really did want to talk about something uh, around this, and part of the reason I'm showing you these youngsters is because of this. So most of these youngsters that are breeding at the moment, they're not actually for myself. I'm not keeping them, they're going out. Here's another two, about 10 days old, 10 to 12 days old, uh, looking exceptionally well. Um, but I want to talk about something. I have never, as a regular feature, used supplements. I've always used a vitamin R powder, oils, you know, garlic and various other oils. I've always used those kinds of things. So I can't say I haven't used those I have. And I've also told everybody I've used them as well. And I've used Homoform, okay? But what I haven't used is, I haven't used the variety of supplements that I'm using at the moment, okay? So like, this is my supplement shelf at the moment, and I have to extend this now because I have one, two, three more, I think. Where's the other two? Don't know, there. But there's more here. So this is another one, Strike from uh, Fraser's. Come highly recommend it, that, that stuff does. So these are just some of the stuff I'm using. So this is Strike, this is a new one I got. Uh, really against toxins and things like that for the gut strike. I don't know what it's going to be like. Uh, I've been using this immune, immuno boost for a while, and uh, that's quite nice. I like the smell of it. Uh, vitamin R has been my staple for years. I've always used this for years now. Um, I have this is a new one I just got the other day. Uh, it's a vitamin, vitamin powder. Uh, some of the other Fraser, bra Fraser products I'm using, PRP for respiratory, natural against re natural products against respiratory, a prebiotic, uh, what's this one, a can a canker, uh, canker formula, uh, just things I'm using that I've never ever used before, this is the truth, never. Uh, I have a protein back powder, uh, I have one here that I haven't even opened, uh, a lot of you guys would know about Carney Speed, I haven't opened the Carney Speed. And this was a, is a regeneration one for the racing season. Haven't used that at all yet. That would be used for racing. Uh, Carney Speed, David Reynolds recommends Carney Speed very, very much. Uh, really, predominantly I'm using supplements uh, because I'm trying to follow some of what David does. David's theory is that, I have actually a couple more there somewhere. I may have found down here, there we go. These are other ones that I got the other day. So we got a detox from Fraser's uh, that will be used uh, when stressing for racing. I have a ProBrack 1000. That's another one that will be used uh, ongoing. And then we have, uh, what's that? Primalac. Uh, microbials for the gut, for the boards. Water soluble or, or on the food uh, from Fraser's. Now, the reason I wanted to comment around this is the fact that my boards are absolutely shining. Now, the race boards should be shining. They are not under any stress. However, the stock boards are also shining and they have been breeding. So most of these are really only on the first rounds, but you can see the quality of feather on them. They are, sh I mean, a bit of light actually does, does the world look good, but they are shining absolutely shining i am really really happy with them and this is the race section now so all the boards are actually paired up i have never had 24 pairs in a section before but they have all seemed to settle very very well 
I am going now to get tobacco stalks and hay for them to make their nests with. I want them to be active and make great nests. Half of those boards will be bred from, half of them are the David Reynolds boards out of Germany. Uh, director of his stock loft, a lot of them would be. They're here for racing, but also some of those are going to be going out as per David's instruction. Uh, the other boards will be double grandchildren of Musgrove Wizard I will be producing for racing myself. Um, I now have two sections free and I have obviously my Guernsey, Guernsey team there that I mentioned before. So it's really all to play for here. But the supplements, and really that's what this video is all about. I have found with the youngsters that are being produced that they really are coming on well. I don't know that has to do with the supplements. I have bred very, very good youngsters before. I'm having to put rings on these youngsters at five and six days old rather than seven and eight days old, which is unheard of here. I've, I've often gone to 10 days and been able to get a ring on a board okay because of the size of them. But um, unbelievable. Like the, uh, uh, again, I don't know whether it's because of the supplements, but I, I, I don't know. I, I have never used them before. I'm using them now and I have, I'm, I suppose I'm saying I have seen a difference in what I'm producing, so I'm gonna carry on with them. I'm really, really happy with the broad range of supplements and just trying to cover all the bases really with them. Um, and I'm not finished. I'm actually gonna have to make a proper shelf there now rather than just something I threw up, which is what, what's there at the moment for the supplements I'm using. And I'm quite happy to carry on with this. I'm gonna see how this goes through the season. Um, I'm not sure how racing is gonna go just yet. We haven't got any formalized things. We're still aiming for Poitiers, Le Mans, uh, North Seward, Edra, and Guernsey any age race. Um, but I'm hoping that the supplements along with the feed system that I'm using now, um, along, with, uh, along with the boards I have, we can actually show that this can be done into Ireland over these distance races more regularly than it has been in the past. Okay, have a good one lads.